My name is Diana Wilson and I work for Jeffco Public Schools and I'm here today with your now boarding report. If you're tuning in for the first time, this gives you a brief overview of what our Board of Education is up to with our local schools. We're kicking off a new school year and we've got a lot going on. Our board really hit the ground running this year. School funding has been an issue for quite a while and they decided to take some action right away up front and they were looking at three big funding issues. They unanimously voted to support all three. So the way that these three measures work together is one is a statewide measure, one is for capital improvements locally, and the other is for operational budgets. So first is Amendment 73, that's the statewide issue. That will be on the November ballot statewide and will support all of our schools. You've heard me say before that school funding in Colorado is well below the average in the nation. This measure, if approved, would actually get us pretty close and about right in the middle for school funding in the nation. Then they talked about two local issues. The first is a bond and the other is a mill levy. A bond pretty much supports our physical schools. So the actual buildings, really important things like HVAC and plumbing, as well as the actual physical schools and how big they are and how our classrooms are set up. Then there's mill levy, which is operation dollars. And that directly affects what's happening in the schools our teachers, materials for our students, curriculum support. Two different issues on the ballot in November in Jefferson County that the board again unanimously decided to ask voters to fund. $567 million bond would really go towards expanding our career and technical education sites, improving our high schools that were built before 1980. Our average age of our buildings now is about 50 years, so as you can imagine, once your buildings start getting older, you really need to make some improvements. So we'll also try and accommodate our growth in our areas where we're having families move and more kids. Our charter schools would be supported. So quite a bit of impact on all of our established schools, improving them and really bringing up the standard of what our kids are experiencing in their classrooms every day. The second local issue is our mill levy override. That's $33 million. And this really offers the opportunity for us to pay our teachers at the same level that other districts around us are paying them and the effort is really keep good staff, attract good staff. It would also help safety and security. As you know, school security has been an issue across the nation and it's important to us that our students feel safe in their schools and we have measures in place that help them be stable, you know, support them emotionally, as well as make sure that we have people in our schools that are keeping our kids safe. Please go to jeffcopublicschools.org slash future funding. Find out about all three of these measures that will be on the November ballot. Our board meets again on September 6th. This is when they'll finalize the ballot language on the two local issues, and then they start into their normal duties. As you know, our five member board, which is all volunteer, not paid, they work really hard to get out to our schools, find out what our needs are, and start reviewing things that affect our district on a big picture. So pretty soon we'll be talking about test scores and how our students are doing and what efforts we're making to increase the academic measures that our kids all have to learn to make sure and graduate and be successful in life. So that's next on the agenda for next month. Thanks for joining us for Now Morning.